Here's Evan Donovan. Breaking news this Tuesday morning, folks. The Florida Senate has voted for and passed the HB 1557 Parental Rights and Education Bill, known by critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill. This now sends the bill to Governor DeSantis's desk, where he is expected to sign it. Good morning, folks. Thank you for joining us here on Battleground Florida, the digital edition. We'll be joined in just a moment here by our digital anchor, J.B. Buno. This is breaking news. The vote just occurring on the Senate floor moments ago. Uh, again, HB 1557, the bill critics have called the Don't Say Gay bill, which contains a number of measures strengthening parental rights in education but contains one measure that has been very controversial throughout the state and even possibly throughout the world at this point, uh, that being a ban on classroom instruction on gender identity and sexual orientation in grades K through three or at ages that are not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate. We're going to break down what happened today uh, and last night here in the Florida Senate, uh, and we're going to hear from you. We'd love to hear your comments, hashtag HeyEvan or hashtag HeyJB when he pops up. There he is right there. Uh, We'd love to know what you are saying about the bill, so uh, please let us know your comments. Uh, Do you support it? Do you not? Uh, And what you think about it. Uh, JB, obviously, you're looking at the center of your screen here. A lot of the protests that have been taking place across the state of Florida. Student walkouts have been going on uh, throughout the entirety of this bill's legislative process, but particularly uh, in the past week or two. Yeah, controversial bill. And, of course, a lot of conversation occurring on your Twitter page, Evan. Of course, follow Evan at Evan Donovan on Twitter. I'm just trying to figure out exactly the – okay, so we have it was a 22-17 to 17 vote. Yeah, and I was just and pulling it up right here. To I see. believe it's Jeff Brandis and Jen Bradley. Bradley, uh, I believe it was Bradley also okay. uh, voting no on the on the Republican side, but I mm. want to make sure that that's accurate. Interesting. Um, just getting it, the vote, folks, for those of you just joining us, the vote was less than 10 seconds. It yeah. was that brief. It was at the beginning of this live stream. If you're joining us on Facebook, you can also scroll back a little bit on YouTube if you're watching us on the WFLA YouTube page. Yeah, the breakdown in the Florida Senate, there are 40 senators. One of the seats is open due to, due to a uh, voter fraud issue uh, by Republicans in South Florida that happened uh, in the last election. So 39 total senators who are seated right now. Uh, the breakdown is 24 Republicans to 15 Democrats. So obviously Republicans have uh, quite the majority and are able to pass this bill uh, without any issue. The vote, though, was 22-17, we believe. We knew, uh, we expected, I should say, that uh, Florida Senator Jeff Brandis of St. Petersburg was going to vote against the bill. He'd introduced a number of amendments to try to broaden the language, saying that this bill was about intent versus impact. He wanted to make sure that it wasn't targeting the LGBTQ community, uh, but all attempts to broaden the bill's language out not to target that community all failed. Uh, That is true in both the House and the Senate. And so the bill has now passed as is. I want to read you what the controversial segment of the bill says again it gives parents a number of different rights about when school districts must notify them how they how soon they should resolve their issues gives them power to escalate uh, concerns to the florida education commissioner and if they're not resolved within a certain period of time they can sue school districts it also gives them more power to make sure they can see their students records that they have control over what student health services are being offered by schools to make sure that they sign off on any school health questions or well-being uh, forms that are conducted in the school. It's this passage, however, in the middle of the bill that has become the subject of what is now international debate. Quote, classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties on sexual orientation or gender identity may not occur in kindergarten through grade three or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students in accordance with state standards. The bill's sponsor said in the House that that obviously applies to more than just K through three. That's been a bone of contention a little bit. In fact, some of those those of you who watched my interaction with the governor yesterday, he tried to make that point, but it's not entirely correct because the, because of that bill language, it expands it and broadens it out more than just K through three, though that is clearly the focus here. But again, all attempts to uh, narrow that down to just that age group or to broaden out the language so that it wasn't just about gender identity or sexual orientation all failed in both the House and the Senate. And, you know, JB, I know we've got Senator Jones teed up now, but maybe we should go into Senator Baxley's comments first. Is that that possible? Yeah, it is. Let's just make it clear what we're going to do is we're going to 
uh, feature some of your hashtag hey JB, hashtag hey Evan comments coming in. But I, I really just want to spotlight Dottie's here really quickly for a second. Sure. She says, hashtag hey JB, it's pretty obvious that most people watching do not understand the contents of the bill. Maybe you can explain in depth. And I want to point out that Evan on WFLA.com, it's also on Twitter, we'll explain it. But And he's uh, just spent a good portion of the last few minutes talking about the really most controversial section of the bill, but he did a great two minute explainer that's on his Twitter page. It's on yep. WFLA.com, the WFLA app. So yeah, who do you want to hear from first here? In fact, Evan? that's a great idea. I should actually post that uh, or p- pin that to the top of my page because that'll, that way it'll give you all a great understanding of what the bill actually does. And it makes sure that, uh, that you know from start to finish all the elements that are in the bill. Because, again, it's really just this one passage that's controversial. There is, you know, there are some people. I have Senator Baxley queued up, ready to go. Do you okay. want to hear from Senator Baxley? So, yes, yeah, so before we just just to kind of get at this, you know, the, all attempts, obviously, to broaden out the bill language and make it less targeted towards the LGBTQ community failed. And a number of senators did that, including, as I just mentioned, Republican Senator uh, Jeff Brandis of St. Petersburg. None of those efforts worked. And so late last night on the Senate floor, Dennis Baxley, who was a Republican senator from Ocala and is the Senate sponsor of the bill, came out in a question and answer with State Senator Tina Polsky of Boca Raton. And she basically said, look, why is this specifically targeting this community? There's lots of different topics that are inappropriate for this age group, for K through three, right? It's, we shouldn't talk about suicides. We shouldn't talk about parental suicides. We shouldn't talk about murder. We, you know, all these other topics that we shouldn't talk about. Why does this bill single out gender orientation and sexual identity uh, and, and and, and so in response to her question, here's what Senator Baxley said. We are in a trending posture right now where, I mean, my son's a psychiatrist and I said, why is everybody now all about coming out when you're in school? And there really is a dynamic of concern of how much of this are genuine type of experiences and how many of them are just kids trying on different kinds of things they hear about and different kinds of identities and experimenting. That's what kids do, you know? Uh, Maybe they're in this club or they're in that club or they're onto this. And they're trying on all these different identities of life, trying to see where they fit in. And uh, I said, am I crazy or what? All of a sudden we're having all these issues come up about this topic of their sexuality and uh, and gender and i said i I understand why that's such a big wave right now so some comments there senator baxley going on to say that uh that he he felt like there was just this trend that it was moving forward that it was it was causing great concern to a lot of people and that kids one day you know felt like they were nobodies and then the next day they feel like a celebrity after they come out uh, and that was causing some concern and we have heard from parents that 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 is something that is causing them concern we've also heard from a lot of other parents and students that uh, that this is something they feel like targets them uh, and that they can't be their true selves and and that's what's caused this uh, uh, this this controversy over the bill, obviously. I also want to play you comments from State Senator Chevron Jones. Uh, Chev is from Miami Gardens. He is a Democrat. Uh, he's the first openly gay state senator in that chamber. And he spoke last night about his father writing a book. His father's a pastor, uh, Senator Jones, a strong Christian, and and talked about how his father wrote a book saying uh, that that you know that he was disappointed uh, when when he was you know raising his son, which obviously you, you, you must imagine would probably be very difficult for someone uh, who was a pastor. And so he was talking about th- how that shaped him and how he felt about about you know reading in that book that his that his that he had disappointed his father and how proud he was of the other gay and, and transgender students who had come out in the past few weeks to oppose this bill and how courageous they were. Here's here's what Senator Jones said. And so when I see these kids, I don't think y'all understand how much courage it takes for these children to show up every day. Just imagine living your life for 30 years and you coming to your parents and, and you're talking about who you are and you're lying to them about who you are. 
I never wanted to disappoint my dad. And I even told him to watch this today. I don't think y'all understand that even rerunning for office, it was, it was difficult because people calling your names, people saying things to you. And all you want to do is serve. I never knew that living my truth would, uh, would cause church members to leave my dad's church. Or friends to stop talking to me. 